Valentine's Day is just days away. And our elevator pitcher hopes that's got the panel in the mood for her pitch. Hello, my name is Precious Williams, and I'm an attorney turned lingerie designer. I'm also a full-figure D with a size 22. And guess what? There are over 40 million women size 14 or larger in the United States, just like me, and we all want pretty underwear. It's just too bad that most mainstream lingerie companies don't create any products for women my size. So that's where my company, Curvy Girls Lingerie, comes in. Curvy Girls Lingerie creates, designs, and sells lingerie that celebrates the beauty of a curvy woman. Our designs are original, stylish, and fresh. In our first month of operation, we sold over $10,000 worth of merchandise, and we also won a major business plan competition. I'm asking for $500,000 for the following things. To purchase additional inventory, to create and manufacture our own house brand of lingerie, to develop our online marketing campaign, and also to completely revamp our e-commerce website. In exchange, I'm willing to give a 25% stake in my company. Thank you. Great. Precious, that was one of the best pictures I have seen on the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. That's my opinion. <laughs> Which actually doesn't count. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> so, Micah, let's start with you. You sure. hear a lot of pitches. Did you get everything in there? Yeah, I thought it was really impressive. Um, I, I, I think you're right. I think you're capitalizing on an opportunity that's probably underserved right now. Yes. Uh, there was two things you said that I, I would just uh, want to think a little bit about. The pitch for $500,000 just sounds like a lot. Right. In sort of venture capital terms, that would be valuing the business at a million five. Okay. So you have to ask yourself, is the business worth a million five today? Or are you asking, giving away too little of the company or asking too much okay. uh, in, in, in capital? The other thing that made me a little bit nervous in the pitch was it sort of felt like you're VP of manufacturing, VP of design, <laughs> VP of sales, <laughs> VP of marketing. And that is a little bit of the entrepreneur's job. Right. Um, but you sort of don't want to boil the ocean. You, you, you sort of want to pick, you know, perhaps it's the design that you really want to win at. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can either find a partner to help with the other stuff. Right. Or maybe you just find other stores to carry it and don't spend as much time on the web. Uh, but pick sort of what part you're going to be sort of uh, you're going to really own and be really good at. Okay. Right. And Thank Stella, you. great advice. I love the story that you that you created from yourself. It's about you. You're representing 40 million other women. You yeah. set out the market size, which is fantastic. What I want to hear is how are you going to set yourself apart from your competitors? What's going to happen when Victoria's Secret hears about uh, serving, you know, curvy women? How are you going to continue and maintain your brand and really stand apart from them? So would you guys, based on this pitch, knowing what more you want to know, take another meeting? Stella? Absolutely. <sighs> Micah? Same here. All right. Congratulations. Nice job, Precious. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for your help Absolutely. with this. And if any of you out there have a product or a service and want feedback from our Elevator Pitch Panel on your chances of getting interested investors, just send us an email. The address is yourbusiness at msnbc.com. Please include a short summary of what your company does, how much money you're trying to raise, and what you intend to do with the money. You never know. Somebody out there watching the show might be interested in helping you.